There are two ways that you can integrate MailChimp into your Thinkific account. And today we're going to look at those two ways. The first way is to use the App Store of Thinkific and the second way is to use Zapier. So let's take a look at the first method. So here I am in my Thinkific account. I've gone into the Apps Store here or the Apps tab and I can see my two different types of apps that I've installed. Now this is my Thinkific partner account. So everything here is all fictitious information. Likewise, I've created a new MailChimp account. So it's completely bare and we can look at it today. So to integrate MailChimp, what we have to do is go into the App Store. So when I go into the App Store, I then want to find the MailChimp integration. Now I can simply go up here and search for the MailChimp inter uh, integration, but I want to show you as well that if we come down, we can look at all of these different categories. Now, if I go into email and marketing, I would see all of the different options. Why do I show you this is that it's not just for MailChimp. You can also use active campaign. You can use other marketing uh, campaign platforms. Today we're looking at MailChimp. Okay, so all I'm going to do is click on this MailChimp and then I want to install. Once I have installed my application, I'm going to have some questions that I have to answer. I'm just going to accept all of these conditions and install. Okay, so here is my MailChimp. It's here, but I haven't connected it yet. So now I'm going to connect my account. And now I'm just going to type in my details. Okay, I'm just going to click on allow. Okay, so now you can see that that's connected. Okay, so I've automatically been pushed back to Thinkific. So here, once I've connected my account, I now need to select on my MailChimp list. Now, if you do have a free MailChimp account, you only can have one audience list, which is the name of my business. But if you do have a paid MailChimp account, you can have multiple lists. Now, this here that says select MailChimp list, in MailChimp, it is your audience list. Okay, so you can have multiple audiences if you have a paid account. I'm just doing this for testing purposes and have a free account. So it's the Stellar way. Okay, so I make sure I connect the Stellar way and I save. And that's it. So now you've connected your MailChimp to your Thinkific account. Now there are some restrictions to what can be pushed across. You can have a look on the help guides on Thinkific, but basically anyone who signs up for your course, whether they're a paid student or whether they're doing a free preview, they will be pushed across into MailChimp and only with bare details. So if you want more information to come into your MailChimp account, then the second method might be better for you. And that second method is to have a look at Zapier. So if you haven't played with Zapier before. Zapier is a platform where you can create or start to integrate two different apps together and push data from one app to the next. So let's have a look at Zapier. So here's my Zapier account. Now, I'm not going to go through every single thing that you can do. There's so much in here that you can do. I'm just going to come straight into my dashboard and here I can create my own workflow and I want to connect one app to another. So I want to connect Thinkific to MailChimp. You usually think you want to connect one app to the next. Think what information do you want to push from one to the next? Now I want information that happens in Thinkific to be pushed directly into MailChimp. So I'm going to search for Thinkific. And then I'm going to search for MailChimp. Okay, once that happens, I then have the actions, the triggers. So when this happens, then do this. So when what happens? Well, I'm going to create two different ones. So I might want when a new free preview enrollment happens, then I want them to be pushed as a new subscriber, add or update a subscriber in MailChimp. And I want to add a new tag to them. So over here in MailChimp, I have the options to create tags. So here I might have a tag for my audience to stellar away called free enrollment. And I might have a, another one called paid enrollment. 
Now, it doesn't matter if my students paid using a coupon or if they paid the full amount, I'm just going to separate them as someone that's paid for the course for some amount and then someone who has done a free enrollment. So then over here in Zapier, I'm going to try this link, this connection when I've got a new free enrollment, push them into MailChimp. Okay, so I have to now put all my details in. So I'm going to choose my account. This is expired, so I need to reconnect it. So from Thinkific, I need to access my API details. So I can do this by going into the settings and getting it from the analytics section. So here I go into my settings, I go into code and analytics on the top, and here I have API. Now I'm going to click reveal key, and I'm going to copy all of this and come back over here and paste my API key in. It also wants me to put a subdomain in. So if I come down here, my subdomain is here. I can just click on edit and I just want this section. I just want the subdomain. I don't need .thinkific.com and paste. Okay. So now that's connected. I then continue. Now my trigger, I can select this for a particular course. Okay, so I want to go, let's go into my signature course. So whenever someone joins this course, now you can add all of your courses here if you wish. Okay, you don't have to select this particular one. You can continually add all of them. So you can say for all of my courses, just make sure if you add a new course that you come in here and update your Zapier as well. And then we're gonna test a trigger. So what this means is it's going to find a student that's enrolled and it's going to show them there's no one in this one. So let me actually choose this course. And then we should find my enrolled students. Okay, so here is Stella Brooks. This is one that I haven't imported yet. So let's test with her and I'll go continue. So now let's connect MailChimp. This one is an old MailChimp here. I want to connect a new account. So it's the same thing that we're going to have to create these connections. Now here, I'm just going to type my details in. Okay, and log in. Once I've logged in, I then give permission. Okay, so now I've connected, I'm going to continue. And now I choose the audience, which I only have one. And here, I have to enter in the subscriber's email. So this makes sure that it's dynamic content. I don't wanna type the email address in, I want to select the user email from the data I have here. And I'm going to keep all of these as they are because I don't want to change anything. We're just doing the basics here. But in tags, I want to pull in those tags that we created earlier. So here, because I'm doing a free enrollment Zapier, I want to choose free enrollment. First name and last name, I want to insert data. So I just insert the data from my previous search, from the previous step. And I can put more information in, but because in Thinkific, the only information I collect is first name, last name, and email address, I'm not going to add in anything else. There's nothing else to connect. And I continue, and then let's test and review. So when I'm testing this, it's going to push everything in to MailChimp. Now you can see that this pop has popped up, ready to publish your zap because everything's worked. Okay, so a subscriber has been sent to MailChimp. Let's go and have a look. So if I go into my audience here, all contacts, we can then see that I now have my contact added here. And you can see that my contact has this tag free enrollment. So as you can see, the Zapier version of the integration allows you to add tags in and allows you to add more information than what you can in the native integration from the Thinkific App Store. Now, what this means is that you can then run workflows from MailChimp that's triggered by their tag status. For example, you can do a search to search for anyone that has the tag free enrollment but does not have the tag paid enrollment. And then that way you can email those students uh, specific marketing campaigns to try and upgrade them to a paid version. Now, if you don't wanna go down the Zapier route, that's okay. You can also do the same from Thinkific. Let's take a quick look. So let's come back over here in Thinkific. If you go into your users, so we go into support your student and into your users. In here, you can find your users that are on a free preview and you can select them and you can send them an email. Now this 
is not automated. This process is going to be manual, but at least you can still contact them from Thinkific. So the easier way to do it, if you don't want to go through the route of using Zapier and using automations, you can manage all of this from Thinkific manually. But if you would like everything to happen automatically in the background, I do recommend that you start to play around with Zapier. If you do have any particular questions in what I've shown you today, I know that I've only showed you a really um, a brief overview of the two connections, but at least from this video, you would understand which avenue you want to take. But if you do have any particular questions, add them into the comments below. Each week I do have a new video here on my YouTube channel. So don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button so that you are notified of new course creation videos. Until next time, happy course creating.